Hey guys, I have an art supply to share with you. This is a set of 36 pan watercolors by Angora. About a month ago, I did a video review of their skin tone set. I was so impressed that I wanted to give their full palette a try. So we're going to swatch these colors and see what they look like. Okay, so I've already been playing around with this. I love them. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you guys what they look like. So I have my watercolor paper and I'm going to swatch with a number eight Princeton Aqua Elite. First, I'm gonna use my pipette with water and put a drop in every pan just to soften it up just a bit. They do, um, dissolve in water pretty quickly, especially for a pan, uh, a pan watercolor, but I like to do this anyway. So I'm just dropping a little bit of water in my pan. Okay, so the first color is white, but since I don't swatch white, we're going to move on to the yellow. Okay. It's a really soft, buttery yellow. There are no color names or color numbers, so I'm just gonna do the best I can to describe um, what the color looks like. Okay, this is the next yellow. It's still nice and soft and buttery, um, just a little bit darker than the, the first one. Now this is our third yellow. There's much more pigment and it's much brighter. And then they've included a skin tone. Now I don't know how much of this you guys are gonna see because it's very light, but it's pretty. Okay, the next color is like a golden yellow. So pretty, it's such a warm yellow, I love that. Okay, and then, then they've included an orange. A beautiful muted orange. And then we have a pink, and I love this pink. At first it looks kind of like a hot pink, but it's not. It's a muted pink, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. And then we have a red. Now this is our reddest red, and the other two reds are very pink. See, there's a lot of pink to that. And then the next red is much more pink than the first one. So this is our, it's, this is much more of an orange red, but it, like I said, it, it, you don't have that pink to it like the other two do. And then this is our, kind of our hot pink. And then we're gonna get into our purples. That's a very rich magenta. And then we have our dark purple. And then our lighter purple. Look at all this pigment, guys. So much pigment. It's just fabulous. And then this is our yellow ochre. Guys, let me know I've had many requests to do a live video. Leave a comment below if that's something you're interested in me doing. I thought if I'm gonna do a live video, the first thing I should do is we should play a game. Like maybe a guessing game, like guess the color. <laughs> because that's kind of what I'm doing right here. There's no color names or color numbers to this set, so I'm kind of, you know, like I, I just called this a yellow ochre because that's what it looks like. So I thought it might be fun for us to do that. But 
technically wise, technically, yeah, that's a word, um, I would need to figure out how to do that. I mean, literally, I don't even know how to do a live, so I'm going to have to Google it. Okay, so this looks like a terracotta, and then we have what looks to be a turquoise, or like a mint, a mint green, and then we have our lime, and then we have a grass green. And now I need another sheet of paper. So I'm going to move this and our next green, I believe this might be olive. No, that looks more like a sap green. And I think this might be Viridian. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, look how fabulous that is. Now I made these swatches kind of big. I'm going to try to squeeze one more swatch right in there. And this is our gray. This is a beautiful taupey gray. I love that. And then we have what looks to be a little bit darker medium gray, but it's still that beautiful taupey gray. I love it. And then our next color, I believe this, I believe this is sepia. Yeah, totally looks like sepia. And then we have our blues, and this blue is beautiful and soft, so unique. It's like a muted, very light blue. I love it. This looks like smoke. It, that's what it looks like. It looks like a beautiful smoky blue. I love it. Okay, this blue is so fantastic, guys. It's very unique. It's very muted. It's so pretty. I love that blue. Another beautiful soft blue. There's some really good blues in this set. Look at that. Look at all that pigment. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So fabulous. Oh, I'm in love with these colors, guys. They did such a good job with this set. Here we have a brown, highly pigmented, beautiful colors. And this black is so intense. Such a dark, inky, beautiful black. I love it. Okay, let me put all these colors back on camera so you guys can get a good look at them. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. Okay, so this is a really good, affordable set of watercolors. The pigment, let me just show you really quickly. You do get a mixing white with this set, so you can actually make pastel shades of all of these colors with that white. This is intense, highly pigmented, beautiful colors. Guys, and it's affordable. I give this a huge thumbs up. I, you can't go wrong with this set. You really can't. You can do so much with this set. Look at how pigmented they are. You can water them down even further to get a more translucent watercolor with these. But oh my goodness, you could almost consider this a gouache, almost, because they're so intense. They're not a gouache, this is a watercolor, but they're really good. Okay guys, you get some really unique colors in this set. Look at this blue. This is a beautiful muted down blue that's fantastic. 
Oh my goodness, guys. And of course, you can always mix your colors to make new colors. But I'm giving it a big thumbs up. I highly recommend it. I'm, of course, as always, I'm going to leave a link below so you guys can go and check out all the information for yourself. I bought this from Blick. I love it. It's, it's fantastic. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.